Now let's look at the basics of working with the DOM. So what is the DOM, I guess, first of all? The DOM stands for the Document Object Model. This is the way JavaScript perceives everything that you have on your web page. So all the HTML is part of the Document Object Model. If you look closely at the HTML, you can see it's made up of different parts. There are elements, so tags, anything that's got an opening closing tag or it's self-closing, these are elements. So there's a paragraph element, there's a main element, a header element, an h1 element. We also have attributes. So these extra bits of information that belong to the element, but there's the attribute name and the attribute value. We've got double quotation marks around the value assigned to the attribute. So elements, attributes, and text. This is the third type of object that we have in the document object model. So elements are called element nodes. The attributes are called attribute nodes. And the text is called a text node. There are actually 13 different types of nodes in the page, but those three and comment nodes are really the only ones that you'll be working with in JavaScript, and the comment nodes themselves, very rare that you'll have to do anything with those. So just remember that there's element nodes, attribute nodes, and text nodes. Those three things you will be working with in the DOM. So what I want to do here as just a simple introduction and example is we have the two JavaScript files from before connected to this page. There's movies.js, which was just an array. There it is. There's an array with a bunch of movie names in it. And then we have over here in our basic web.js file just some comments. So what we want to do is we want to take the array of movies from the other file. We're going to convert that into a string. We're just going to put commas between each one of them. We're going to use a string method or an array method rather to do that. Then we want to locate this paragraph. So we want to have our JavaScript find a paragraph element with the ID para. Then we're going to take the string that we built out of all those movie names and put it inside here so that when we look at our web page here, we're going to have a paragraph that contains all of those movie names. All right, so first, take the array of movies and put them into a string. Going back to our array methods, we can say let, oops, let names equal, that's going to be our variable, and the movies array is just called movies. We're going to call the join method and put a comma and a space in between each one of the names. There we go. So if we want to test this out, we can. I'll inspect, go over to the console, and there we go. There's all the movie names with commas in between them, comma and a space in between each one of them. Great. So that's working. Next step, we want to locate a paragraph, or actually any element that has the ID para. So I'm going to create a variable called p, and we will say that it's going to be equal to the result from this method. Document is a built-in object, written this way with the lowercase d, document is the object that represents your web page. So this is my document. Inside my document, I want to locate an element that has the ID para. So this method will return to me a paragraph. So that's what p will be. So we could console.log p and see what we get. There it is. That right there is what it is. That is the thing with the ID para. It's this paragraph tag. And you can see it had the ID inside of it. 
So imagine that there was other text or other attributes inside of here. We'd have access to those as well through our variable p. So this is actually a variable that is now holding a piece of HTML. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the text content property of our paragraph equal to names. That is our list of movies. So I'm going to refresh this. There we go. There is our paragraph that now has all the movie names. And that was all that it took. So we move in here, main, p, there it is. There is all the contents inside of our paragraph. So this is what we have done right here. This is how we have manipulated the HTML on this web page. We've updated the display. Any user visiting this page, as soon as the page loaded, as soon as the script finished loading, we're taking that list of movies and we're sticking it inside of that paragraph. And that's your introduction to the DOM.